talking about pedophiles, where they're allowed to go and not allowed to go. Joe. Yes. They can't keep him from moving state, can they? They can't, yeah, actually, yeah, because he's on probation. As long as they're on probation or registered, yeah, they can't leave the state. Now, I don't know on what provision because some, I mean, hey, Noreen, you got some people that are pedophiles and may have family that they got to go see, have to go see in another state. Hey, Noreen, what's up? If they're, if they're not on probation... And, they're, and, they, and, and they, if they're not on probation, they can't stop them from leaving the state if they're not on probation. Well, if they're not on probation or not, no, they can't. But, see, I think what happened was once they commit the crime, it's up to the courts. They'll either put them on five years registry. They have to register for five. Basically, what they have to do is they have to register for five years. But I'm sure they're on probation, but... Yes, if you're a lifetime registrant, you've got to register for life, and then you have 10 years you have to yeah. register. So, so, so you're saying that somebody that molests a kid, can, 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 it, it is a possibility you can get five years of being able to have to register, but if they, but if they change their ways after five years, they can take them off the registry. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's up to the judge. You're always going to be a sex offender, though, regardless, because you committed the crime, you know? You know, it's going to still be on your record. It's just they make you register. You're just on the register for so many years. Hey, Steve, what's up? So long, no see. Well, see, my, my opinion is, Joe, let me tell you my opinion. Now, if it, if, let me tell you something, Joey. I've been on Green for 18 and 19, but let's say it's been 10 years since that happened, and or whatever, and you and, and you and you have changed and realized you made a mistake back then. They should just give you a five year or 10 year registry and just let you get off the registry. No, no they you shouldn't know, because you don't know what that person's gonna do. Once they did what they did, it's there for life, Jerome. Why do you think Far Daddy's having such a hard time? Because I think what he did, what he did about maybe. More than ten years ago, I don't know how long ago he did. Whatever he did, I don't know how long ago it go. But he's always had to register. Yeah, it was sixteen. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If it was eighteen and nineteen, and and eighteen and sixteen, and then and other person was married. Because sometimes, boy, Joy, listen. You may, you may not you may not be in your right now when you're eighteen and nineteen, and 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 seventeen and sixteen years old. You know what, Jerome? You got sex offenders who were in trouble for raping somebody, and they might have raped an adult, you know? They might have raped an adult. Let's say even if they rape an adult, they still are treated. They still can't go around kids and all that. Yeah. I, I, don't think, I, don't that. That I just think they should get the five-year registry and ten-year registry. And let's say, and let's say they don't ever Now, if they did it again, if they, if they actually did this, when they was 21 and older, then I agree to think they should, they should get no five or ten year registry. They should get the life registry. Yeah. Well, see, somebody but, like but, Sean. But if, you, but if you was 18 and 19, they ought to at least do five years. Just because. Well, see, you somebody like right Sean. Mind. Somebody like Sean that was just there and didn't actually do anything. They shouldn't give him. They, they really shouldn't have done. They should maybe punish him for being there and being in that situation. But he shouldn't have to register. But if they do have to register him, he should only do five years. You know what I'm saying? And I agree. And I, and I, and I agree with that situation. Yes, I, I, think, I agree. You, you let me tell you something, though. I think any time, and it don't matter if they change or not, any time somebody might, uh, does this, uh, commits a sex crime on somebody it's either a minor, an elderly person, or somebody with a disability, if say the adults got a disability and they do it to somebody, Oh, they should get a lifetime because that's sick. Well, what if they really honest with something to do with it? <laughs> they got to still give them a lifetime. 
Actually, if they got mental problems like that, they will give you a lifetime automatically, no matter what you did. Even if you rape somebody, if you rape a woman, they find out it had your mental illness had something to do with it and shit, or they'll make you register for life. Because, yeah, that's, uh, I know one thing this, this guy I went to school with, Nathan Privet, he's got to register for life because he, 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 he molested a 10-year-old girl. He raped a 10-year-old girl, actually, is what he did. I don't know what the hell he did, but he was real. I, I went to school with him. He was in all those special classes at Peaks Mill, and he also went to this mental health place and stuff. Oh, he was, he was kind of retarded. But he had mental problems, too. So, yeah, when he did what he did, they make him register for life. Cause, and they can do that because you can't just, you know, even though they got a mental illness, and, you know, and if they got tendencies to do that shit, you, you got to watch keep an eye on them because they can do that. It's just like Fart Daddy. I hate to say it. Jen can probably get mad at me. But they should have him on there for life because he's got some serious mental issues. And he can turn around. He will turn around and do that. I, he, he could wind up doing the same thing again if he's not watched. Well, Joey, my thing is if you was 18 and 17 and 16 and did that, it, I think in that circumstance, it, it, you know, you should get a chance at least after five years. You know, years. I hate to say that, but really, Fart Daddy should not be up there at Bates Memorial. They up there around all the kids and stuff because... Well, 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 you know, Fortnite is different because number one, number one, he has done it too many times when he was grown. Who? Fortnite has done it too many times when he was grown, and he should not be given, and he should know that about it. Yeah, but he, yeah, he knows, no. but he's got mental issues that keep him from thinking before he probably does something. And does he? Does he have mental illness? Yeah, he does. He got, and he's. He's got only, okay, he's not only got mental illness, but he's kind of mentally retarded. He is a little retarded. Fart daddy is. He rode the short bus back when he so was a kid. So what kind of mental illness does he have? No, but I, that's what it is. I did either. That's what he is. But no, he, so what he, kind he of was. what mental illness does he have? Huh? What kind of mental illness does he have? He's got bipolar, and I don't know what else he's got. But like I said, he's also got a little mental retardation. Uh, he's slow. Uh, and, 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 and what it is, Joey, that, that what it is is that he did, uh, so his mental illness has something to do with him molesting the kids. Yes, it did. Because he don't realize when he do, when he's doing this stuff, he don't realize what he's doing because sometimes... I'll tell you what he's done. Sometimes he'll go touching on people and not realize what the nature of it is he's doing. You know? Yeah, like he touched on Sean one time. He, he touched on what, Sean? This one. And, and what happened? I don't know. Sean got mad. Shane well, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you didn't hit him, Sean, because he does have a mental problem. Yeah, but so still, don't... he shouldn't uh, do that. Uh, Just because he has a mental problem, though, he shouldn't do that. Because, you know, ain't nobody, ain't, ain't too many people around here giving me breaks over my illness. Especially yeah, that's, like, that's why people should give me breaks about mine, because yeah. I can't control what I do. Yes. That's why I don't let them come up here. Because I could get in trouble probably for just having them in the building. Because I, I know I know Miss Hilda don't want no uh, sex offenders in this building. But they probably come up here visiting other people and shit. But she ain't well, 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 you, know, well, you know, sex offenders got it made because when they come out of prison, they have to get a place to live. What now? <laughs> when sex offenders come out of prison, they have to get a place to live. Yeah, and they got it hard. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them are homeless because <coughs> not only get the money, but maybe they don't get a check. The regular people that come out of prison, they don't get much help. But sex offenders do get a lot of help. Which is, I don't know, but you know what's fucked up, though? But, but see, they can't get no housing assistance or anything. 
That's why a lot of them are homeless. Actually, you come out here, a lot of these, a lot of, most, some of these people out here that are homeless are sex offenders because ain't nobody want to rent them a place because of their charge. They really should, honestly. They do need to live somewhere away from they do need to have special places for those people to live. Because they don't need to be homeless out there because it's not just the fact they're homeless, but you still it's just the fact they're out there around the public and shit. There's kids everywhere. Yeah. That's why they gotta have a good place when they come out. Wall, yep. I don't know if they, they they let Fart Daddy get away with more than he want Gary gets away with. Cause they locked Gary up to the farm. Michael Sullivan. No. Yeah. They put him on there anyway. You know. See, I can actually see him doing something like that. Well, hold on, Jerome. No, see, Mike, Mike Sullivan. I, I couldn't see him do. I when I said he was. Yep, because I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I don't know what he. Yeah, see, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Be honest with you about Michael Sullivan. I couldn't see him doing anything to be on a sex offender list. He ain't that type of person. I could never see him trying to do something like that. But see, it's like, that's kind of like, it's almost like <laughs> the other Sean I was talking about. Sean really shouldn't be on there either. Sean really didn't do nothing. He was on the wrong place for a long time, but... Uh, they should have only they should they should have charged him with something else though. My little illness is that I Why what was you saying uh, just asking a question about a minute ago as far as sex offenders staying with you? Yeah, what do you think my family would probably do? If you had if you had a sex offender staying with you? Yeah. Oh god, I don't even wanna know. You know your dad? He'd make you move in with, oh, your he, your dad would take you out of your apartment, make you move in with him, and you'd probably never get your own place. God, I don't want to know what my parents would do. Oh, God. My dad would kill me. What? You brought Keith to the house. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, he, oh, he'd get mad. What are you talking about? My dad? Yeah. Oh God, I don't want to know my dad would do. See, your dad would get mad. Man, your dad's actually me. I don't know. Your dad would probably be the same way as my dad. Oh God, my dad would hit. Uh, shit. Would hit the fan if you bring a sex offender down there, or if I even had a sex offender in my house, or I even hung around with one. You see, you know, that's what thing about Fart Daddy, let's say you took him down there and he didn't say, and we didn't say nothing about his charge. Let's say Fart Daddy yeah. might go down there and just be friends with mom and dad. He'd help him with cleaning around the house and all that shit. And mom and dad would probably like him, think he was okay. But what he wouldn't, what they wouldn't know. But, but let's say he'd find out. He's a sex offender, and I didn't tell him about it, especially. If I just told him he's a sex offender after that happened, oh, he really hit the roof. Hey, yes. My dad don't like sex offenders, honey. He hates them. <laughs> my dad. You know my yeah. dad? Actually, they had where they used to live at in Florida, hey, Aisha. You know where they used to live at in Florida, in uh, Inverness? Yeah. There was a sex offender in their neighborhood. They had one living right there. There was a guy that lived in a trailer with his mama. Dad was pointing up there saying that they got a sexual predator that lives up there. Because I guess he knows. Because I guess the registry, if sometimes if you want to know if a sex offender is living around you, you can pull up the information to see if there is one. 
And they had said there's like two or three of them that live around that, in that subdivision. Well, Joey, guess, guess what? What? If I, if I, let's say that, that I call a police officer, then I'm a drug lord. What? If I tell a police officer that I'm a drug lord, what will happen? Oh, you're stupid, Jerome. That would be the stupidest thing you could do. And you, okay, you tell them you're a drug lord, but you're not really a drug lord? Were they trying to find out what I have? Yeah. They laugh at you, probably, after they find out you really wasn't one. You went through and told on yourself and got yourself locked up and everything. They laugh your ass off, and then you know what? If they find out you weren't telling the truth, you probably get charged for lying to them. Oh, you could get in trouble. You don't lie to police, honey. You could get in big trouble for lying. I had a friend. I don't want to say she's my friend, but God, this friend of mine got in trouble back when she was 16 for lying to the police about something. Yes. Oh, you can get mad. It's called obstruction of justice. But see, they didn't give my friend enough time for what she did. I'm sorry. They only gave her six months in a boarding school. <laughs> and you know what? When she got done with that, she didn't change. She's still nasty. She just does things. She does. She gets a thrill out of doing things, out of breaking rules. She just does. She likes doing things that she's not supposed to do. She gets a thrill out of it. You know what she did one time? We was playing baseball out in the street somewhere. She had a baseball through somebody's windshield, and it broke the windows, and she laughed about it. Didn't want anybody to know. But she thought it was funny. And she stole something from somebody thinking it was funny. She's still like that now. Jo Joey, do you know what a drug lord is? Huh? Do you know what a drug lord is? Yes, I do. Duh. Well, what is it? Somebody that runs a drug, uh, a drug, a drug trade or whatever. Cause Joey, they ain't got no money. They ain't got millions of dollars. What? Drug lords don't make millions of dollars. You got the drug kingpins. You hear of drug kingpins? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're about the same thing. Why you say a drug lord ain't, ain't, they don't make a lot of money? They don't really, do they? Uh, it depends. It depends on what kind of fast drugs they're dealing and everything else. It all depends. Hey, what up, Aisha? Isn't this an interesting subject we're talking about? We're talking about pedophiles. Child molesters. Uh. And drug, Jerome, don't have, Do you know what a drug lord is, Jerome? No. No, what? Because why you got to ask me? Yeah, you had to ask me what a drug lord is. Oh, my God, Jerome. I sent a picture of him on, 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 on Facebook in a casket. <laughs> what? I sent a picture of a drug lord on a casket. Mm. If you don't know what the meaning of what you're saying, don't. Yeah, they could be rich. That's what I'm saying. I always thought though a drug kingpin and a drug lord were the same third person. It's just they got different titles, you know. Yeah, the kingpin is at the top. Yeah, I, I get it. Joy, Joy, I'm a drug lord. No, you're not. Shut up. Kingpin supposed to is, is is doing all the business and all that, and doing all the smuggling. Guess what, Joey? What? Guess what? What? If I win the lottery, I'm gonna be on television. 
I'm not. I, if I win the lottery, I don't want my business out there. I don't want my business put out there. I want your television. I, you know what, though? That's that free press shit, though. I guess they can do it. They feel like they can do what they want. They find out about your business, they'll still put it out there for everybody. That's the only thing I agree with Donald Trump on the free press shit, you know. He did want to he did want to do something where the media can't be just putting anything out there about people. But I mean if they want to talk bad about you, they can, but if they want to sit here and lie and put all that shit and tell lies on you to the public and everything else, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. And if, you don't want, and if you don't want your business discussed, let's say they know your personal life and your business, and if you don't want your personal business being discussed or out there, you know, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. So, Joey, guess what? What? It was funny how they used to do Princess Diana with the, with the news media. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Imagine if you was her, Jerome, would you want the news doing what, what they did to you? <laughs> Man, imagine me being a celebrity, you know? Imagine all the damn media going around lying about me and shit. Oh my god, I'd <laughs> I probably locked up I I wouldn't say I killed somebody, but I'd have got locked up for doing something. Hell yes I would have. You ain't gonna put my business out there like that, because I'm telling you, I ain't one of I wouldn't be one of the celebrities to mess with. <clears throat> Actually, you know, when Queen Latifah was real young, uh, she actually, like I said, Queen Latifah was being uh, followed by paparazzi, and they said she assaulted a photographer for doing that shit. And she, she you know what, they charged her with that, but I don't think they should have done nothing. They were bugging the fuck out of her, you know what, she had a right to do what she did. If I'd have done the same damn shit, they kept, if I didn't want my pictures... I don't mind having my picture taken, but if you're going to sit here and bug me and keep me from walking and doing what I got to do just to take my picture, I'm in a rush. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get mad and slap the shit out of them. Oh, yes, I'll take that camera and break it. Just like I almost did over there on St. Catherine. I didn't want them out there to take a picture of my house and get my business involved and put on the news and shit. Oh, God. Joey, but they have a right to do that, Joey. But see, you know Trump... That's something I agree with Trump on, you know. He wants to make it to where they couldn't do that. But Joey, when somebody, that, the law, Joey, when somebody breaks the law, they have no rights from the media. Huh? When somebody breaks the law, they have no rights, Joey, from the media. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. But Joey, but yeah, if I win the lot, because, because guess what happened, Joey? What? Just these people won the win the big major lottery, and guess what happened? When people found out they won all their money on the news, the people some people went out and killed them. See, that's what I don't I don't want my business. And, 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 the, kid, and the kid and the kid the little kids almost got killed because of it. You know what? And you know what I'm gonna do? If I win the lottery and I go up to the, I go to the lottery department. I'm gonna make sure it's discreet, honey. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure the media don't find out I won. But what? But what if? The, but what? But what? If, but what if they have? What if they can't keep it private? Oh, I'll make sure they do. I I say this, but if I have to hold a gun to their head to make sure it stays private, I will. I don't want everybody to know I got all that money. Hell no. I mean, they can put me on TV. And she went by where I live at. Joey, they going to put me on TV when I win all that money. I mean, say, yeah. And I get a Pegasus parade. I'll be a little celebrity and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then people are going to be trying to kill me, too. They're going to try to kill Jerome. Yeah, but would you want that, Jerome? No. You want attention. That's what you're, you don't understand. You're wanting all want that attention. attention. But, Joey, if I went all that money, what would you have done to me right now? If people, 
Have I been on the news and everything? I kick your butt for getting on the news, and you know what I do? <clears throat> Make sure when you get that money that you move somewhere where nobody knows where you live. Move away from everybody. I mean... Would you, would you maybe come stay in your place? Yeah, but, I, but this is what I would do. i have you stay at my place, but then I'd also take you somewhere and make you go get a place where it's secluded, away from everybody, and nobody knows where you live at. And you are not to tell anybody where you live. If you tell everybody where you live, I'm going to kill, kick your butt. I'm going to put pictures of my house. No, you're not. Not for everybody to see. Man, Jerome, Jerome will probably get assassinated because all that money. Yep. I, I don't want my business being known. I don't want my business out there. Hell no. Uh -huh. I don't want my business out there.